Hello Aries and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days. This is your weekly reading. It is timeless. So whenever you're watching, there are likely messages that will resonate with you. Aries, please take what does and leave what doesn't. Okay, you've got a card jumping out already from the Energy Oracle cards. And this is Contract. Okay, nice. I'd like to put the Oracle cards here and then read more into them a little bit later after the tarot. Okay, what else does Aries need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Aries. Thank you, Aries, for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And remember to hit the notification bell. All right, Aries. What else does Aries need to know this week? All right, let's see here. Aries, we have blossoming abundance. Beautiful, that's exciting. Contract and blossoming abundance. And to those of you interested in numerology, it's the number six and three. But you don't have to be into numerology if you look up the spiritual meanings of those numbers. Something surely will come up for you, and just as you would in a tarot reading, only take what resonates with you because you're going to find tons of different definitions. Okay, and for our tarot, I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot. Okay, this is for Aries. Aries, all these decks have been pre shuffled, cleared. I have already prayed and meditated on this space for your reading. Okay, Aries, what does Aries need to know this week? We're going to start with um, your first card will be your current situation or most important situation for this week. And then your challenges, advice, and outcome. And then I will go through and clarify. All right. What does Aries need to know this week? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, Aries. Here we go. Okay, so your most important situation this week is represented by the Queen of Wands. Exciting, okay? Let's see, Aries, the Queen of Wands. Like, you're super attractive this week, okay? And maybe you're wanted or attracted to someone. Oh, my gosh, and you've got the King of Wands for your challenges. Okay, it's your challenge position. And for advice, we have the Seven of Swords. That's your advice position. And for your outcome, we have the King of Swords. Wow, all these court cards. Okay, Aries, I'm gonna go through and clarify. So we've got a power couple here with the King and Queen of Wands. And then we've got the King of Swords over there. So um, maybe you could have a choice in um, different interests. A couple people may be attracted to you this week, Aries, and, and are going to make that known. And uh, it would be your choice. It would be your choice. That's what I'm getting so far for some of you or a couple of you. Sorry, I dropped a card. It happens all the time, so I guess I'm going to have to get used to it. <laughs> the Magician, okay? We have the Magician clarifying the Queen of Wands. Cool, okay. Let's keep going here. Magician clarifying the Queen of Wands. Wow, that's really, really powerful, Aries. You're like super hot this week. All right, we're gonna clarify the King of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the King of Swords. All right, that feels right, I'm going to cut. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So clarifying the King of Wands, we've got the Hierophant. And clarifying the Seven of Swords, we have the Ace of Swords. Aha, I like that. I like that because if there's something hidden, the truth is going to come right out. So if somebody's trying to be sneaky or creepy, I don't know why I'm getting creepy, <laughs> creepy and sneaky, the truth is going to come out real quick. Okay, and to clarify your outcome, we have the Seven of Pentacles. It's clarifying the King of Swords. All right, Aries, that's great. 
All right, so let's start with the Queen of Wands. This is in a situation position. This could represent you. It doesn't, you don't have to be male or female. It's just the energy of this card. Um, like I said, you're very attractive this week, or you could be super attracted to someone else. But I think that this represents more of you. Most of you watching this, um, you're getting attention this week. Um, you are a wanted person. And clarifying that, we have the magician. So you have um, not only not only um, really attractive energy looks or you know, whatever somebody else might be attracted to in you, you also have this manifestation, um, super strong, this manifestation ability and energy, super strong this week. And um, people are really drawn to that as well. So I would say what I'm getting right now, Aries, is to be careful. It's okay to be excited, to get attention, or to be placed in a leadership position, um, to be wanted. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. But I'm getting, just be careful and make sure that you're only um, helping and leading in ways that you're absolutely sure you are capable of. Like, don't be afraid to say, okay, I can help you with such and such, but with these other things, these other aspects, you need to seek advice somewhere else because that's not my expertise. Although you, you do have a lot of expertise in a lot of are, areas, areas. Okay. So the King of Wands, your challenges. So he's got strong entrepreneurial spirit, the King of Wands. Like I said, it doesn't have to be male or female. It's just the energy of the card. And um, <laughs> it's like he's planning something out and he's looking to the cat like he's practicing something. That's what that's what I'm getting with the King of Wands right now. Um, he's like practicing something, practicing teaching someone something important. And he's just practicing talking to his cat, which is awesome. Okay, so um, Aries, you might be needing to practice something. Um, maybe there's a public speaking event or something like that that you are practicing for. And it's going to be um, very positive. There are going to be positive results for whoever this message is for. Um, the Hierophant here... Um, there we go, the Hierophant. So there could be a Taurus in your life. Um, that you are working with maybe, um, or um, someone who is balancing out your energy, or maybe there are some Taurus in your chart. They'll help balance out your energy. Um, it's important to remember to center yourself. Definitely use your creativity because that feels good. And for a lot of you Aries, that does center you. But remember the other part, like the other side of it, balance the yin and the yang. So make sure you meditate, you do some yoga, take some deep breaths, go for a walk, do whatever, whatever um, works for you to quiet your mind and step away for a little bit. Take breaks from your creative projects, your work, your teaching, or whatever it is that you are doing, Aries. Make sure you do that as well. Okay, I think that um, for those of you dating, dating, or you could be, you could be committed already, um, I like this strong match here. I like this power couple match. Um, I think it's important, Aries, to um, remember to stay on the same page with your partner or the person that you're interested in and try to um, give that situation and person a chance before you scatter your energies everywhere else because you're going to be um, demanded, I think, of a lot of attention this week or um, needed or needed. It could be something with work, but I think your attentions are going to be needed. I think that some of you are having work done on your house or your car or something big this week and you're going to be getting a lot of calls from contractors who are going to need direction from you. So make sure you allot time for that. And I just see a lot coming through for you this week, Aries. Like a lot of activity, both in relationships, in work, and then taking care of personal things at home as well. Okay, so your advice um, position here. We've got the Seven of Swords. So I was getting it first. If someone is trying to pull something sneaky on you behind your back, uh, the truth is going to come out really quick. Here we go. With the Ace of Swords. So there might be someone who is doing like shoddy work and trying to get away with it, um, but the truth is going to be revealed so easily. It's just important to make sure 
you pay attention to what's going on because it's something that will be obvious to you as long as you're not distracted by a ton of different things all at once. And the other thing I'm getting with the Ace of Swords is also like a fresh, exciting new energy. Okay, so I think that with all that you are already dealing with this week, all good things, I think there is a, a fresh new person or friend coming in of like minds. Like you and this person are of like minds. It could be somebody new at work. It could be someone um, who is under you or apprenticing, apprenticing with you. But I'm getting a nice um, youthful energy, but it doesn't have to be a young person in age. It could just be a new person in your life in one way or another, work or personal life. And you're going to have um, um, some kind of camaraderie, camaraderie when it comes to like how you think. You're going to meet someone who you really think alike with and it'll feel good. It'll feel good. It'll be like, oh, cool. It's like really refreshing to meet someone who understands me, who brings fresh new ideas. Okay. And we've got the King of Swords for your outcome card. And the King of Swords to me in this deck, um, I think the look on his face, he's kind of laughing. Like on the one hand, he's super serious. And I always say, you know, be careful not to be super serious. It's definitely important to get all of the facts, do your research and all of that. That's always important. But he's also laughing. He's not afraid to see humor in situations going on, you know, people or whatever, and uh, make light of things that just don't need to be too serious, Aries. So it's easy to get caught up on, get too caught up in things, and then little things seem too serious because our energies are scattered. So don't be afraid to laugh. And then I hope this is coming in clear. Um, the King of Swords is being uh, clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles is showing me that there is a lot coming to fruition this week, Aries. And um, the King of Swords, he knows that. And he's just, he's just sitting there like very confident. He's very confident. He's just waiting. He's waiting for something just like in the Seven of Pentacles. So know that there will likely be monetary gain or some kind of proof that all of your hard work has been worth it. And it's something that's continuing to grow. The Seven of Pentacles um, can indicate the need for some patience, okay? Like wait for the fruit to ripen. It's not going to be forever. It will be soon. Okay. That's nice, Aries. Great reading so far. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. Okay, you know, we're going to go over here to the Angel Wisdom Tarot. And then I'll go over to the other Oracle cards. So these are the Angel Wisdom Tarot cards. And I just like to draw a couple of these to help balance out the reading. Okay, what does Aries need to know? move this over a little bit here kind of crowded my space again all right Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus oh wow we got a pop out here and we've got the seven of air another seven of swords okay so this seven of swords is being clarified so this is an important message this week Aries seven of swords twice okay so I'm gonna read this to you out loud a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and embarrassing secrets. Okay, Aries. So this makes a lot of sense along with the surrounding cards here. Um, just be careful so that you don't lose your peace of mind, okay? And I think that the answer to that is to just make sure you take time for yourself. Take your time out so that you're always aware of what's going on around you and not cutting corners for the sake of saving time. And um, a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Okay, that's popping out at me here. So if you, Aries, if you lose your, your sense of um, peace of mind, right, you're not going to feel free. So all of these things that you're working so hard on in order to maintain your freedom, 
if you're too distracted by too many things at once, um, then you lose your peace of mind, right? So then part of you knows that something or someone could make a decision that's not good for you that affects you without your realizing it. And it, it could be an honest mistake even. It doesn't have to be sneaky. So um, Aries, of course, we can't control every little thing, but the message I'm getting strongly this week for you is to pay attention. Also with Mercury going into retrograde soon, um, you know, pay attention to details. Okay, is what I'm getting. All right, and I'm gonna draw another one from this deck. Okay, you've got the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Air, and did that, oh yeah, that was the King of Swords came up, okay. So you're getting a lot of air energy here, Aries. Okay, so a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking going on. And it says brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career or a divorced or un, or divorced or unmarried individuals. Okay, Aries. Okay, so let's see. So you've got the King of Swords as well. So it's like you've got two power couples here. Okay, so for those of you who are dating or committed, I think there's a really strong coupling energy this week, meaning um, you have the energies are providing the chance for you to um, rekindle a bond or strengthen a bond that you have with a current partner. Or if you are dating somebody or meeting somebody new, it could be a really strong um, a really strong good match. So make sure you take the time to evaluate that and decide before rushing off to the next thing, okay? I think that's some good advice there, Aries. I keep getting don't rush, don't rush because there's a lot of really good things coming in and I think there's a lot of um, different people and personalities coming in for you this week as well. They don't all, all have to be new people, but they could be people you haven't spoken with or dealt with in a while. Okay, so from the Energy Oracle cards, the first thing we have here is number six, Contract, which also reminds me of the Seven of Swords. So when the Seven of Swords has to do with um, making sure you read all the fine print before signing a contract. Okay, so to me, these cards validate one another. So um, Contract, here we go. So make sure you read all of the fine print before making an agreement to do something or sign up for something, um, any kind of big important contract. Make sure you go over everything and if you need assistance in that, if there's something you don't understand, make sure you seek assistance so that you're well informed because there needs to be balance, there needs to be give and take here. Okay, and I'm going to read from the book a little bit from that, from this deck, number six, Contracts. Okay, and it says partnership and legal commitment. So maybe some of you are deciding to get married because I've got all this power couple energy in here. Okay, and it says um, this card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed, indicating a committed connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment in marriage. Whatever the connection, this card is more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding, at least for the time being. Okay, so we also see the scales of justice, which shows a legal commitment, and it shines a light on potential for new opportunities. Remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. All right, Aries, very good information and advice here. And the affirmation says, I am attracting wonderful beneficial connections that support and honor me and bring me great happiness and abundance. Beautiful affirmation, Aries, I like that. Okay, and we have blossoming abundance, which I definitely like. Very beautiful, beautiful card. I love this card, I love the artwork. And that's the number three, beautiful, I'm sorry, blossoming abundance. I almost said bountiful your bounty, right? So blossoming abundance. <clears throat> and I'm going to see what the book has to say on that. Okay. Blossoming abundance, increasing wealth and value. Okay. So this card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the tree above. This card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in dramatic and unexpected ways. That's wonderful, Aries. How exciting. 
Okay, be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold. Okay, and see, we have that here with the seven of pentacles as well. Okay, so that's validating. Those cards are validating one another there. <clears throat> The universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. Smell the flowers and tend to the new growth. Be grateful and enjoy. And the affirmation is abundant wealth blossoms all around. Abundant wealth blossoms all around me. I see the value in my everyday life. Awesome, Aries. I really like this. It sounds like you're going to have a super exciting week. Please leave a comment below how this resonates. I would love to hear. Okay, we're going to go over to the Angel Answers Oracle Cards now. So if you have a burning question or something that's been on your mind, Aries, you can reflect on that now, but you don't have to. If there are any important messages jumping out here, it will definitely resonate with you. Just go with your gut, go with your intuition. All right, what else does Aries need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. From the angel answers all right what do we have here for aries okay aries you have no need to worry beautiful message there everybody wants to hear that right no need to worry and it's like she's got a little i call it a mini fire pit so to me that's aries energy a little bit of fire energy going on there no need to worry put all of your worries in this little metaphorical fire pit and just let them burn up and open up your energy okay beautiful and let's see what else we have here romance oh aries what have i been saying i think a lot of you have romance going on this week whether it's something new or rekindling a current romance or it could be someone from the past you never know um, if it is someone from the past i would just be careful and make sure that um it's not a situation where you're likely to have the same issues that you had before. It could be someone that you know from the past that you've never been with romantically before too. Okay. So take your time, Aries, and enjoy. This sounds like a really, really exciting week for you. I would love to hear from some of you how this resonates. All right, Aries, we're going to wrap this reading up with a couple of cards from the Chakra Love Deck. Aries. What does Aries need to know? Aries, Aries, from the Chakra Love Deck. Okay, so our first card out here is Truth and the Throat Chakra. And the gemstone is Turquoise. Speak from your heart. It is the only thing worth listening to, Aries. I hope you can see that. Okay, and we have Throat Chakra again. And the gemstone for this is Lorimar. And it says listening. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. Okay, Aries. If you want to be heard, learn to listen. So you've got truth and listening and the throat chakra twice. So I would meditate on the color blue around your throat area to help ground yourself and um, help quiet yourself when you need to take those breaks, Aries, okay? For some of you, I'm getting, be careful about having too much caffeine this week, okay? Because that will only uh, you know, get you a little, a little too zippy and unfocused. So uh, everything in moderation, Aries. Okay, Aries, thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.